All right, here's another one from my suggestion box. And today I'm looking at Ultimate Edition 3.4 Lite right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Ultimate Edition 3.4 Lite is based on Ubuntu 1204 Precise Penguin. So this is a long-term support release. This uses Mate as its desktop environment, and you have two choices for window managers, either Metacity, which has no special effects, or you can use Compiz. And of course, with any release, they execute it pretty well. And you can see here, we've got Compiz going on now. You have the 3D desktops and that sort of thing. Uh, so you're going to see some wild special effects on the screen. I think most of these are set up to work at random. Okay, a number of indicators on the top portion of the screen here. Uh, this will show you all open windows that you have. Calendar with the time. A battery indicator. This is your wired network configuration tool, a news feed. You also get the uh, Compiz Fusion icon, where from here you can change the window manager. You can also select the window decorator if you don't want to use Emerald that comes preloaded with this. You can use the regular GDK window decorator, but Emerald is so much cooler to look at. You have a volume control, and then of course this icon here is your radio stations and there are a lot of different styles to choose from Ooh, hard rock radio yeah okay and then uh, a number of indicators here letting you know what your uh, what memory is being used your CPU and that sort of thing this little icon here when you click on this will allow you to close a program that has crashed this is a link to the ultimate player Plays music and last FM streams. And you'll notice everything in this operating system is heavily themed. Although I will admit that does not look to that appealing to me. But somebody out there may like it. You get a quick link to Terminator, which allows you to open more than one terminal in one window. You get Conky, the Firefox web browser and transmission. The system button here, you can go into your preferences and you can change uh, a number of things on the system in terms of wallpapers and graphics that this has. It's a huge listing of them. I've covered this in previous reviews, so if you want to check that out, um, just do a search on my channel. But everything you want to configure in the system is located here. You have administration tools quick access to your places, just the home folder on the desktop, and some recent documents if you had anything opened. I installed the VirtualBox editions, so that was my most recent. Uh, a lot of accessories are included with this, an archive manager, calculator, disk util utility, you get, you get it, uh, Glubus preview, GTK hash, IPython, per, Q emulator, and screenshot. Just play on Linux under games, which will allow you to run Wine and try and get some of your Windows applications and games working. A few little image tools here, a Document Viewer, GIMP, Image Viewer, LibreOffice Draw, LRF View, Internet, a few little tools here. There again, you get uh, Check Gmail, Chromium Web Browser, Dropbox, Firefox. So you got the best of both worlds. You got two browsers to choose from, and um, either one or the other. I think that's what most people are using, GFTP for transferring files online, a KVLRC, whatever that is, I have no idea. Nightly Web Browser. Hmm, I wonder what that is. You also get Pigeon, Internet Messenger, Transmission, and a Newsfeed Reader. And let's just take a quick look at this and see what we get. Well, while we're waiting on that to load, I think we'll just go over the other applications. Okay, and as I mentioned, you do get the full LibreOffice suite along with Calibre and Evolution for reading email and other. Um, this is where uh, everything for Wine is located, such as browsing the C drive, configuring Wine, Notepad, and uninstall Wine software. 
few little programming tools thrown in, uh, sound and video tools, cheese, DVD, easy tag, ISO maker K3B, the best uh, disc burner for Linux, uh, radio tray, record my desktop, ultimate player VLC, volume control, and XBMC media center, which interestingly enough is the only other choice that you have on the login screen. And then, of course, a few little system tools to get the most out of the system. Interesting, this link to Nightly Web Browser didn't work. Ah, okay, I see what this is. This is um, the latest Nightly build of Firefox that they have there. It's saying that it's already running, but it's not responding. Hmm, okay. It's always nice to see what Ultimate Edition is doing. Now, when I was new to Linux, I tried and installed an earlier version of Ultimate Edition on my system, and I really loved the eye candy. I mean, that's one of the things that really sold me on Linux, was that, you know, all of the it just showed me all the customization possibilities there are out there. And so, um, I highly recommend that if you're new to Linux, that you at least download the live CD and play with this and get an idea of the kind of things that you can do with theming on this, because this is a good example of that. And then when you're ready to move on to a different Linux distribution, you can apply what you've learned from here into another distribution. So all in all, I'm liking what I see here. This is a little bit bloated. It is a little bit slow, so I recommend using this on modern hardware. But for new users or new people who are coming to Linux, great way to uh, experience uh, some of the special effects and some of the really cool things that Linux has to offer. Mm -hmm.